I guess I kind of found out when he would come home late a lot of nights. He was really good at just kind of playing it cool, but I always like sensed that there was like maybe something wrong, but I didn't like bring anything up. My dad was an alcoholic. He he knew he needed to get help, but he once told me that recovering from alcohol was the hardest thing he was ever going to have to do in his whole life. My mom was probably affected the most. She was, like, not happy, you know? I tried to hide it from the kids, but as they were growing older, they knew something wasn't right and had to say, okay, you know, God will take care of us. Throughout our marriage, there would be periods of time that Gordon's drinking seemed to be really under control, and then all of a sudden he would go out on a, on a binge, and I think he just wasn't ever really dealing with the, the pain that was causing him to drink. Throughout these cycles, I could see that our relationship was really spiraling down. I never could really know if he was going to come home, or if he was really where he said he was. I noticed that like, of course, they loved each other, but they were constantly fighting. I guess it just made us feel sad, and, like, we didn't really know if it was, like, our fault or how we could ever fix it. I tried to love him through it. it just, yeah, it was very hard. It's painful not being able to trust the man you love and to rise above that and be strong for your kids and be there for him, too, because I knew that he was hurting. I knew he didn't really want to drink, but he just didn't know how to stop. I got a Calgary Dream Center card when a whole bunch of people came to our school looking for volunteers. And the Calgary Dream Center was one of those organizations. My mom was having a pretty rough day. Then I showed her the card and I told her that this is probably a good place for our dad to go, and if they can fix him, then I think we should make him go. One night, it was about one o'clock in the morning, and I heard him at the back door. He was intoxicated. I said, Gordon, you have to go. I don't know where you're gonna go, but you have to just go find some place to go. You can't be here. And I said, I'm gonna phone the police. And I did. And they came, and they didn't find him. So the next morning, he did show up at my door, and he said, I'm gonna go to the Dream Center. When Gordon told me that he was gonna go to the Dream Center, I could not believe it. I thought, thank you, God. Those seven weeks there, he, he totally changed. As a, he was a total different man. He didn't get angry and frustrated, and he was happier, and he just grew closer to God, I felt like. I felt like he was just able to spend time learning about how God forgives people who think they can't be forgiven. My home now is, is perfect. We have so much fun together as a family. And I don't even think the Calgary Dream Center just changed my dad. I think, I think my whole family was changed. Everyone was changed. Everyone came out of that seven weeks a better person.